everybody. Wanted to today talk about HANA Cloud integration. So there's two components to HANA Cloud integration. There's the HCI data services, and then there's the HCI data services. And so wanted to talk about getting started uh, with HCI PI. And SAP has a lot of documentation about getting started with HCI PI, but what I found is that it um, it, it it's not getting truly getting started. As an example, this is an email that you get when you receive access to your HCI PI instance. So you as a customer, if you go out there and you, you purchase HCI HANA Cloud integration, uh, you immediately get this nice email saying, hey, welcome, uh, here's your logon information. Uh, you can log on to this URL and here's the URLs for accessing HCI PI. Now when I click on HCI PI, um, I immediately get an access denied. So out of the box, you don't have access to HCI, right? The email says that uh, it's been set up, as you can see here. But by default, the I'm the user that ordered it, and my username is in this email, but I don't have access to it as the administrator of my HCI instance. So what we need to do is we need to go to your HANA cockpit, your HCP cockpit, uh, using your S user that is associated to the HCI instance. And when you log into the HCI cockpit, you should see uh, your organization uh, displayed, and then the instances or services that you, you have purchase. So we have Nimble LLC and then we have HCI Productive. So this is the HCI instance we ordered. Now um, first you need to define members. And so within members I have uh, see myself in here and some of my colleagues. So we have uh, ourselves in here. Uh, you can click the change pencil on yourself and make sure that you're you're everything, right? You're the Cloud Connector Admin, User Admin, Developer, etc. Um, and we'll talk about roles in a, in, a, in a future video. Now back on my instance I, you know, talked about services, and again, I'm just trying to get authorization to connect to those services. And, and what I found very troubling was is that out of the box, um, you know, I, I just searched, I said, hey, a user, show me assignments. So out of the box, I wasn't given any assignments to access HCIPI. And what I had to do was create a group called administrators. I had to create my own group. There's actually no groups here created by SAP by default. So let's show you how I did this. First, I clicked on uh, new group. Uh, I'm going to call it admin underscore demo just because I've already got another administrator role. Uh, so I have admin demo and now I need to assign you know, roles to it. And uh, after reading through a lot of the documentation, uh, you do leave this up top at AVP HCN. Uh, you do leave this as well. The application needs to end in TMN. Now when you click role, you're going to see all the way up top auth groups. right? So auth group administrator. right? Boom, I'm going to add that one in there. Now for me, I'm still figuring things out. I went ahead and I added, um, you know, sort of everything related to those auth groups into uh, into this administrator role. Now I'll go ahead and share in the YouTube video the link that describes what all of these roles do. So you will find that that link. Uh, let me see if I can show it real quick. Let's see. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put those in the YouTube uh, comment section just so everybody has access to that. So again, I've uh, giving access to all, all of these components. So integration developer obviously is the big one because th that's the major problem that we were having. You know, we weren't able to actually do the development work. Uh, so again, I've, I've got a couple in there. Let me add a, uh, let's see what else is missing. Uh, system developer, perfect. Perfect. So now I've got that. Now I can hit assign. And then what's funny uh, is you can you can actually type any name here, and it accepts it, which I thought was uh, poor design. Maybe they'll fix that in a future release. Anyways, what we're going to go do is uh, enter in my S user number, uh, and now I'm part of this group that I've created called admin underscore demo. Uh, you'll notice here that there is no save button. Uh, so as soon as you're done, you're ready to roll, uh, based on everything that I can tell. Uh, so going back to my HCI Productive uh, instance, now if I go back to that email uh, that I received from SAP, letting me know that uh, my services are good to go, I'll go ahead and copy that URL, paste it into a new browser here, and magically uh, it should work. So from here, now I really can get started. So again, SAP is getting started documentation to me. 
it doesn't walk you through assigning these roles. So I thought it was important to kind of share with everybody out there in terms of if you're new to HCI, uh, now this is really how you get started. You have to give yourself access first, uh, give yourself team members access, and then they can begin in going into this space and they can go and start creating their iFlows or their integrations or, or whatever they're gonna be doing. So, uh, very short uh, YouTube video, but again, just wanted to showcase how we, um, first, we add members to our account uh, so that people have access to get to uh, the HANA Cloud platform. And then within the HCI productive instance, right? Notice I'm not in Nimble LLC here, I'm in, in uh, HCI PI. Uh, I'm in authorizations under security. And now when I enter in my user ID, uh, I hit show assignments and you can see that I'm assigned to a group called admin underscore demo. So we had to create the groups on our own. Uh, I'll be doing more demos here talking about service accounts and roles for service accounts, etc. Uh, but just know that when you get HCI the very, very first time you sign up, uh, you, will sh you could see something like this that says access denied. And the reason why is, is you, don't ha you're not a, uh, you don't have any roles assigned to you. Now, secondly, uh, there's also a plugin for HANA Cloud integration tools uh, that is included as part of uh, Eclipse, but it's only the Mars release of Eclipse. So as an example, SAP HANA Studio, when you download it from the service marketplace, by default gives you the Neon version of Eclipse. So when you go to try to install the HANA Cloud integration tools for Eclipse, if you're using the HANA Studio you downloaded from SAP uh, Launchpad, it, you can't install those plugins. What you have to do is you have to go and you have to go get Mars itself. Uh, so you install Mars. Now what I did is I installed Mars just into a new directory called C Eclipse. Uh, I created an Eclipse shortcut because it needs a JVM to run. And what I did is I ended up finding the path to the JVM uh, that Neon uses, believe it or not, that I downloaded from SAP. When I do that, I'm able to actually run both the Neon version of Eclipse in addition to the Mars version of Eclipse at the same time. And I'm gonna quickly show you where we add in, uh, where we add in the HCI development tools. So again, right now, Eclipse is pulling up. And my, my, my whole goal here is to give developers access to the tools that you know they're, they're reading about when they uh, when, when, when they have documentation about HCI. And, and again, it's tools.hana.ondemand.com uh, is where you can read more about all the different tools that you have to install uh, and all the different services uh, that, you, that you have. Okay. So here, inside of your Mars version of Eclipse, you can go to Window Preferences and when you've installed the HCI components, you'll see a section where we can plug in our operations server. And the operations server, uh, oops, the operations server uh, is actually listed in, again in that email, right? So here's that uh, management URL, the access to Eclipse via HCI plugin. That's what we're doing here is we're entering in that, we're entering in our S user. And when you do that, uh, you're then able to access the different perspectives uh, related to HCI development, uh, whether it be the designer or the operations view. So uh, there is a quick demo on truly getting started because again, I feel like the SAP documentation didn't correctly cover this, where we have to give ourselves access to the application prior to actually clicking on it when we receive that email from SAP. Thank you all.